unknown gunmen have attacked Obosi police station in Demili North local government area of Anambra State. Tahara reporters gathered that the gunmen struck on Wednesday night and killed two policemen. They also freed all detainees in the cell and raced down the police station. The incident is the latest in what appears to be a growing trend of attacks on police station and security personnel in the southeast region of the country. The governors in the region recently announced the setup of a joint security outfit codenamed Ibube Agu to battle rising insecurity. We have been hearing different cases of insecurity in Nigeria, both in the south, in the west, in the north, and in the east. But most times it happens most in the east. What do you think can be done to curb this? We have had different opinions from people. People have reacted and said the only way for Nigeria to be free from this kind of, you know, insecurity challenges is through secessionist. Some people are agitating that Nigeria should, you know, separate the one Yoruba nation and the Biafra Republic. What is your own stand? What do you think can be done to curb this? Don't you think it would be nice for Nigeria to seek for help from the United States or the United Kingdom so that they could just help us in terms of insecurity? They will help us with probably any technology to be able to curb the issue of insecurity and put all these bandits to an end. And also, on the other hand, don't you think it might be possibly be sponsored by some PDP to tarnish the image of Bihari? Probably this might be, you know, sponsored by PDP to tarnish the image of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari. What do you think of this? We have also had series of incidents that has happened in the southeast region. Emo states to be precise, where we have different kind of insecurity challenges that has occurred in the state. We have had so many people who have died in, you know, in this issue of insecurity. We have military men deployed and who have killed recklessly. We have series of things happening in Nigeria, and our government are probably just looking and not doing anything about it don't you think it's time for nigerian governments to wake up from their slumber and you know find a lasting solution they should prefer a lasting solution to these security challenges before it get out of hand so that we will just we will not just wake up one day and discover that we don't have a country to call our own again so that we will not wake up and see that nigeria is no more but before we move further, let's see what people's reactions is and know their thoughts about what has been said. Lukman Adelaide said, I have stood against this kind of attack on police, but in as much as the Nigerian police force continue to compromise the innocent people's will on the issue of killer headsmen, banditry and other vices, this vengeance act will persist they should play an umpire role as as that they can continue to enjoy the cooperation of the people we have heard words lukman adelaide has said that he have understood and has stood against this kind of attack on police but in as much as the nigerian police force has continued to compromise the innocent people's will on the issue of Killer headsmen, banditry, and other vices, this vengeance act will continue to persist. We have heard what Adele has said. Could this be true that the policemen are compromising the innocent people on the issue of killer headsmen, banditry, and other vices? That is why vengeance act have continued to persist over them. That is why these bandits have always targeted the police stations and anywhere the police are operating what is your say to what has been said so far what is your own reaction what is your thought about what 
Lukman Adeleye has said, Well, let's see other people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Afami Funa Samson said, I advise the police to always remove their uniforms and hide at night for security reasons. Nowhere is safe for anybody as it stands now in Nigeria. We have heard what Afame Funa said that the only advice he will give to the policemen is for them to always remove their uniform and hide at night for security reasons because probably there's no way that is safe for anyone as it stands now in Nigeria. How long will they continue to remove their uniforms and hide what we are begging and urging the president to do for us is to provide a lasting solution to this so that everybody will have free movement in their own country. This is really bad for you know a police officer to remove his or her uniform just for security reasons and hide at night. This is uncalled for. Well, let's see what other people's reactions is on this. Prince Oladeji said, Igbos are good people, but the few among them that are criminals disturbing the peace of this country in the name of IPOB. These IPOB members should be treated like criminals by the government. I see no reason why you will be destroying government properties. All in the name of Biafra. Who does that? Just because you have personally hatred for the president should not give you the right to be perpetrating your detatly act. God will punish all the criminals disturbing the peace of this country, whether you are Aousa, Fulani, Igbo, or Yoruba. We need peace in this country. The politicians are our common enemy. They tend to preach for one Nigeria when their wish is achieved. But they sponsor we the youth to hate and kill each other by dividing us on ethnic and religious line. When the system goes against them while their own children are abroad enjoying themselves, we need to unite against them by voting credible people into political offices. Whether you are a Muslim, Christian or traditionalist, we need to love each other and live in peace. Whether you come from South, East, North or West, we need to measure the parameters, be it horizontally or vertically, so that we can withdraw all the sentiments, be it religion or ethnic, for peace to reign. For those that want peace, may God continue to bless uh, their families. But for those that are, you know, enjoying the way people are being killed and properties being destroyed, may calamity before their families and their entire generation so that they can feel the pains of what other people are feeling. We have heard what Prince Oladiji has said. What is your own contribution about this so far? What is your own reaction? Don't you think the Ebobe Ago security outfit should investigate this allegedly crash and bring the perpetrators to book? Don't you think that's what they should do? Because we said that police should be a lawful citizens of their, you know, their own country, Nigeria. So we urge the Ebobe Ago security outfit to please, you know, investigate this allegedly clash and bring the perpetrators to book so we we'll know who is who, who these perpetrators are, who these bandits are, who are disturbing the peace of Nigeria. We want to know them, we want to bring them to book. We want to get rid of them and have the peaceful Nigeria we want. We would like to know your own thoughts and reaction about what has been said so far. Don't forget that unknown gunmen attacked Anambra police station, killed two officers and three detainees in Anambra state. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.